video and today I want to talk about the skincare products that I use for my body. This is going to be a really quick video. I have a total of five here that I want to share with you and these are just um, the products that I like to use. I feel as though using these type of products uh, work really well for my skin type. Uh, some people may think that it's a bit excessive or that it's too much but I like using these and this all uh, has really worked well for me. Alright so the first product that I had and this product really helps me to keep my skin smooth and you guessed it it's an exfoliator and this is the body scrub by Clarence and I really enjoy using Clarence products all of their ingredients are plant-based I like the way this one smells um, I do not use this every day. I use it a couple of times a week. If I do find that I have some problem areas, uh, which is kind of here and there, I might use it a little bit more and that might be uh, the feet. Uh, but this does a really good job. You don't want to over exfoliate the skin on your body, just like you don't want to ex over exfoliate the skin on your face. Same thing applies. This one works really well and I really love how this one smells. This one has a very, very um, pleasant smell to it. It's not overbearing and it's something that I really enjoy. And for a cleanser, I typically elect not to use a soap. Um, for a long time, I did use Dove soap and it is really good. I think that it's good. Um, it's always worked well for like my kids who have eczema, but I like to use a cleanser. And I've been using the Way Body Cleanser and the scent is Melrose Place. Um, this one has jojoba oil in it. It's got vitamin A, vitamin C in it, and it's also got rose hip oil. Now you know how you can use some cleansers and then when you dry off your skin is very tight. It feels like it's going to crack. All of that. Um, I was really surprised when I first tried this because it doesn't do that. This is like my second bottle of this and I really enjoy it and plus it smells very very this smells so good. It's a very soft, soft scent. Um, if you've never tried it um, and next time you're in Sephora, definitely go by and check it out. I think that it's really important when you're trying to um, look for a cleanser for your body that, of course, you look at the ingredients and try to get some that's going to have an oil attached to it. That's just my a little opinion, <laughs> as well as some antioxidants, especially if you're looking for um, a cleanser that's going to you know be an anti-aging uh, cleanser the reason that I say that is typically um, those will you'll find those not to be drying they won't be as hard on the skin this one also does a really good job of cleaning your skin you know clear I don't want to say clarifying because um, sometimes uh, to me when I think clarifying when when a cleanser is clarifying that it could be just a a little bit stripping and I always like to do a test to see if a cleanser actually works well or not. So I'll take a cotton ball and you all might cringe when I tell you this but I'll put a little alcohol on the cotton ball and then I'll wipe you know I'll just take take it and you know just pick a spot anywhere on my body and just kind of wipe it and see and if it's still dirty <laughs> <laughs> that means my cleanser is not working well for me. There's, there's something going wrong. I need to assess the situation. <laughs> but um, yeah, this one will get you clean without drying your skin. And I had totally been enjoying it. All right, so you all can pretty much guess what the next product is. And that would be a body serum. Same thing with your face. You kind of want to go in the same order. Uh, but I have the Polish Choice 5% Niacinamide Body Serum. And I know you all know from listening to me over and over and over, niacinamide is going to help with a lot of things. Niacinamide is uh, one of those types of ingredients that is going to address a lot of things with, you know, just one ingredient. You know, it's going to even your skin tone and texture. It's going to protect your skin barrier. It's going to help uh, keep your skin hydrated. You know, I want to say the list goes on and on, but this one 
uh, is really good. Now, I like to uh, apply this serum on the body parts that I feel are needed. Uh, let's say that, let's say I have a scar or if I have some texture or, you know, something like that. That's how I use this. I do not use, I could use this all over, but let's just be real. If I use this all over, that would be, you know, skincare, a skincare routine, you know, outside of your, the skincare for your face um, can be really pricey. If I use this all over every day, I would, I, I just couldn't afford it. So anyway, <laughs> I apply this where needed and it works really well. It has like, um, uh, I don't want to say a thin texture, but it, it's not thick like a, a heavy body cream or a body butter or anything like that. But I make sure that I would use this religiously every day on my uh, problem areas. Now this is a newer product to the market before um, I was using a, a body serum uh, by Ren and I used all of that up. I, I did some videos talking about my thoughts on it, but I think that body serums are important in any body uh, skincare routine because you know unless your skin is perfect <laughs> you know um, it's it's good to have one to address any problem areas that you may have and this is the one that I use and I really like it all right so next up I have a body hydrator and this is by Sephora and this is the all-day body hydrator it has shea butter and mango butter in it I'm sure you all have seen it um, uh, if you visited Sephora and this body butter is so thick and rich um, I have seen some people complain about this particular body butter saying that it smells bad. Um, this definitely, it doesn't, it doesn't have like, uh, how do I want to say it? It doesn't have the best um, fragrance. Now, when I say the best, I'm talking about in the realm of, you know, things that are fragranted, that have, you know, perfumes and things like that added. It's, to me, historically, shea butter has never had the best, you know, fragrance uh, to me. So when I purchased this, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't looking for it for its scent. I was looking for it uh, because of how, how well it would hydrate my skin. And what I like about this one is that after you've applied it, while it isn't the most, um, it's not the fastest absorbing um, body butter out there, which I really don't expect because of the texture and how thick it is, it still absorbs fast enough to where if you apply it um, before you get ready to go to work or um, you have some place to go, you don't have to wait for 30 minutes to an hour for it to actually absorb into your skin. And then after it does absorb, you still, your skin still feels, it has a supple type of texture to it, which is really nice. It's not a greasy type of texture or feel. It's more of a supple, moist uh, type of uh, feel to it. And I really like it. And you would be amazed at how thick, like when you, um, when you actually apply it, when you feel it, you know, next time you're in Sephora, definitely uh, check it out and see what the uh, texture feels like and you will see exactly um, what I am talking about. All right, and to seal the deal in, seal everything all in place, um, I like to use this Ola Hendrix Firmly Yours Toning Dry Body Oil and it comes in a a glass container like this. I actually thought this uh, bad boy was plastic when I first bought it. And I'm always so nervous every time I'm I use it because the, the floors in my bathroom <laughs> are ceramic and I'm like, oh my God, if this ever breaks. If it falls, it's gonna break and I'm gonna be totally messed up. 
Anyway, I digress. So this one's got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got a, a particular ingredient called sweet white lupin, and that's going to help to uh, firm and tighten the skin. It's also got black per, uh, currant, um, elderberry, and I think the other one is, yeah, it's cloudberry oil, and those are going to help hydrate the skin, and that's what I love most about this one. Of course, it doesn't leave the skin oily. It helps to keep the skin very hydrated and plus it kind of seals and locks in everything that you put in place and it also has peptides in it so overall this oil has so many uh, good ingredients in it and it just really feels good on the skin now when you use all of this at night when you wake up your skin feels really nice and supple and but anyway these are all of the products that I use for my body skincare routine let me know have you tried any of these uh, skincare products if you have let me know what you think about them let me know if you like them or if you don't like them I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches